My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid, fried chicken, popcorn, get whatever you may need. And I hope you enjoy the video. Well, my brothers and sisters, today marks the day of a, uh, the end of an era, the end of a console, man. Um, definitely had some good times with this console, man. I think this past November has been 10 years since its uh, launch, you know, so it's had a long lifespan, but, uh, all good things come to an end and, uh, yeah, Nintendo has officially dis- <laughs> No, I'm joking. No, who knows when the Wii U will finally be discontinued? No, but uh, today Microsoft uh announced that they are discontinuing the Xbox 360. No longer will they be producing any more Xbox 360s, man. And it just had had me thinking, you know, of all the good times I had with the uh, console when it, you know, came out uh, last gen. Um, hands down, the most popular console bar none. Last. Now the PS3 might have outsold it as time went on, you know, but as far as popularity. Xbox 360 was the most popular console last gen, man. You know, it just hit 10 years, like I said, uh, last November. So it's so it's had a good, you know, uh, lifespan, you know, for a, a console, you know. Um, definitely, I think the Xbox 360 played a huge role in the and Xbox Live. It played a huge a, a huge role into why I think online game online gaming really popped off last gen you know i think xbox live and the xbox 360 played a huge part into why a lot of people got into playing games online all because of xbox live and the 360 um the xbox 360 bought in the whole achievement system thing before that there really were no achievements and trophies and it got to the point to where playstation fans were like xbox 360 fans have a uh, achievement sony what about us <laughs> you know and then they bought in trophies because to compete with the uh achievement so i think people don't really realize how big of a role you know that the xbox 360 played last gen the xbox 360 had a huge impact last gen. i think a lot of people uh, uh, forget that so in honor of uh you know microsoft discontinuing hands down their most successful console we've yet to see you know the end of how the xbox one is going to be like but uh hands down one of their most successful uh consoles i decided to do my top five memories that i had with the xbox 360 you guys can leave your top five you know times that you guys had with it down in the uh comments below but uh let's get into this man my top five game memories that i remember having with the xbox 360 so number one uh i remember this was like just when the xbox 360 came out it was like maybe like a month afterwards and i didn't have a next gen console at the time i was still playing my ps2 and gamecube <laughs> you know but uh it was like when it just came out and uh my friend had got an xbox 360 and sometimes well a lot of times <laughs> i would go to his house to play it so uh he had just got a new game didn't really know too much about this game because it was a new ip so i wasn't really knowing you know what to expect from it but i i i was just excited to go to his house and play a freaking new console that just came out in all the freaking games so i went to his house he also had an hd tv mind you and back around these times a, a hd tv wasn't you know in all households like this was before like every house had an hd tv so it was still kind of a new thing to see a hd tv you know um but he had one and uh he had xbox 360 and when i got there he was playing some game called gears of war and he was playing it online and i'll never forget <laughs> when i walked inside his room and i seen Gears of War for the first time on the HD TV. <laughs> on the HD TV, I was like, <laughs> "What the freak are you playing?" He was like, "Oh, this is Gears of War," and he was playing online, and I just seen the chainsaw action going on and all this freaking blood. And I'm like, <laughs> "This freaking game looks incredible." To my memory. Gears of War 1, the first time I've seen it, looks better than the Gears of War 4 beta. 
to, to be honest with you, what I what I remember seeing the first time I seen Gears of War on the Xbox 360 for the first time on the HD TV, I remember that junk looking better than the Gears of War 4 beta. <laughs> <laughs> That junk looked so good, and I was like, son, you gotta let me play this junk. So he handed me the uh, controller, and I started playing Gears of War on the Xbox 360. And it was like, a, it was, I think his TV was like a 42 inch. So this was all like new to me. I was like, my God! <laughs> but, uh, you know, it was definitely a great time playing that man. Had a blast playing Gears. I was getting destroyed, <laughs> of course, you know, because Gears was a really hardcore game you know you had to play it for a while before you can get good at it you know which i think a lot of people appreciate it at the time compared to you know how games are today but that was definitely one of my top memories that i remember playing the xbox 360 number two uh number two i i remember all my friends had Xbox 360s. This was before I became a social degenerate and I was going outside. <laughs> this was before that, you know, but I remember like all my friends had Xbox 360s. And here my crusty behind was stuck with the PS3 because I got a PS3 because I had a PS2. It was my favorite console bar none, you know. Uh, GameCube was closed, but it wasn't PS2. But because I loved the PS2 so much, I decided to go with the, the PS3. Back then, you know, PS3 didn't really have no games. It was known as a $600 Blu-ray player, <laughs> you know. So, and again, 360 was the most popular console last gen. Everybody had Xbox 360s at that time, you know. So, I just remember, like, all my friends would have Xbox 360s, playing games on Xbox Live and stuff like that, you know, playing Halo 3 and everything and Gears of War. And here I am playing freaking... What was I playing out of the time? Hayes? <laughs> I was like, why the freak did I buy this truck? I think I, I was playing Hayes and uh probably Mo and, pro and probably uh Motor Storm. And I was like, <laughs> that's all I but if there was ever a time to where this picture needs to be used, it was this time right here. I literally felt like all my friends, you know, were outside just playing, you know, or, well, inside playing the Xbox 360, just having a freaking blast. And here I am just looking at them, you know, just having a great time. And I'm on the freaking PS3. And this was when, like, this was, like, before, you know, the uh, PS3, you know, had some updates you know that bought in you know some change so some of changes to a psn psn was still incredibly basic at the time didn't do a lot of stuff that you know the xbox 360 did and and uh xbox live did so it was definitely uh some hard times <laughs> you know backwards before i got an xbox 360 and i'll just go to my friend's house and just play their and play their xbox 360 and i did remember that i did trade in my my ps3 twice because I literally, again, I'm a huge fan of Halo. And Halo 3 was like the last great Halo. So I did trade in my PS3 twice to get a 360 and play with my friends. <laughs> like the 360 was popular as heck last gen. So I remember that as well. <laughs> uh, number three. Number three, I remember. Because remember when the 360 first came out and like how often... That junk used to <laughs> that junk used to break like it was a common thing for your Xbox 360 to break because of the whole uh red ring of death you know uh issue. So I remember you know just all my friends <laughs> all my friends 360s breaking and like they used to have so many fixes online for it because again like this was a common thing for it to break so it was like nothing new if your 360 broke <laughs> and when you think about it, that's that's kind of sad but it was like it was like a thing like if you bought a 360 just don't be surprised if it rings a death so i remember like like my friends would be like on their like fourth or fifth <laughs> 360 and like there were fixes online of how to fix it like if it if it would red ring of death like they had like towel fixes to where you would wrap your 360 in the towel 
and like have it on so it could like heat up the time or something like that but it was like crazy fixes they had because it was such a common thing and like people would send their 360 into microsoft all the time and because it was such a big thing like they would fix it for free and then send it back to you so i definitely <laughs> i definitely remember the whole red ring of death thing luckily though i think because i got mine in 07 and mine never had any problems like mine never red ring my my ps3 broke before my 360 did and the only thing with my uh, 360 is it used to sound like a freaking airplane <laughs> like when i would turn that thing on you could never sneak playing games at night <laughs> let's just say that that thing was loud as heck but i just used to remember like 360s breaking was just the thing <laughs> it's kind of sad when you think about it but back then Oh man, that red ring of death thing was huge. Number four, uh, y'all all know this has to be in there. If you got a freaking Xbox 3, so you know you this this time has to be in there. So number four is Halo 3. Y'all all know I'm a huge fan of Halos. It's not the same with how it used to be, but still a pretty good game. But again, Halo 3 was like the last great game, the last great Halo game, and Again, that that played a huge part in why I sold my PS3 to get this game and just play it with with my friends. But man, the memories of playing, <laughs> playing Halo Three, and I was taking that junk seriously at the time. I had a game battles team and everything, playing that junk like literally hours, all the way from like the freaking afternoon to like early in the morning, just playing that junk with my friends. You know, if it was the social playlist or trying to get my 50 or <laughs> whatever playlist it was, like, man, you can't beat that. <laughs> you really can't beat what Halo used to really be. A lot of people, they see it today and they don't really realize how great Halo used to be. That junk, used, there was nothing like Halo when it was in its prime, dude. But I just, re I just remember playing that game for countless hours with my friends like everyone had that game because if you had a 360 you had halo 3 when that junk came out it, it was a huge deal it sold a lot of copies uh day one it made a lot of money you know so <laughs> the glory days of halo and last but not least, number five, uh, number five is Xbox Live. Xbox Live exposed PS3. <laughs> <laughs> Xbox Live literally exposed the PS3 and PSN. PSN was known as like, PSN was like known as like the ghetto. <laughs> like Xbox Live was like, <laughs> and Xbox Live was like where all the rich people <laughs> were just playing on Xbox Live. Like Xbox Live, man, especially back then because PSN again was so basic at uh, at the time. Just the social aspect of Xbox Live, the dashboard layout. You know, just the friends list, being inside uh, private chats, talking with your friends. PSN did not have voice chat back then. You know, uh, just everything that came with Xbox Live. Like back then, there were there was a clear reason of why you was paying for Xbox Live and why PSN was free. Today, not so much, <laughs> you know, but back then, you knew why. Okay, I, now I see why I'm paying for Xbox Live because PSN, <laughs> this truck ain't doing anything, you know, but man, just the Xbox Live and 360, it played a huge, a huge role into why online gaming became so popular last gen. Xbox Live was like a necessity. There there was no one who had a 360 and didn't have Xbox Live. You had Xbox Live. And again, it just exposed PSN for how trash it was at the time. Like it was it just couldn't keep up at the time. It was like, Sony, are we ever getting <laughs> are we ever going to get these things? But Xbox Live, just the social aspect of it, you know, the features just how much more uh just how much more org how much more uh organized it looked the layout the dashboard everything that came with it you wasn't beating xbox live last year and that was like the reason why xbox 360 was so popular last year because of xbox live 
But yeah, man, those are some of the times that I remember, you know, when I had my Xbox 360. Definitely a great console, regardless of what people try to make. The 360, that junk deserved what it got last year. Like, it was a really good console, you know, and it did a lot of things that, you know, Sony was not doing at the time, you know. So it was definitely uh, a reason why it was the most popular uh, con uh, console last year. So for them to discontinue it, you know, again, it is kind of bittersweet but it it, it it lasted a long time 10 10 years for a console that is a long time man so what are some of your top you know times that you had with the uh xbox 360 playing a game on xbox live whatever leave it down in the comments below um i wish i still had my 360 man. <laughs> i kind of do man it was really it's a really good console again the ps3 over time became my favorite in terms of games but what the 360 did at the time it did do a lot it had a huge impact last year and don't try to deny it sony fanboys you know but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video um yeah catch on my next one all right